In this video, I'll show you how to use the new web crawler data cloud connector to build an agent grounded in your website content. A web crawler automatically scans and extracts content from your website like FAQs and help articles so that the agent can be grounded with this information. Now here's a site built by Pronto, a fictional food delivery platform. Merchants usually have to dig through FAQs for answers. Now with agent force, merchants can simply ask questions to this agent. Let's see this in action. So let's bring the agent here and let's ask the agent a question, how to accept or reject orders. Now the agent thinks and it comes up with a response as you can see here. Now, if we compare this response to what is there in this website, you'll see that the information the merchant would have got by reading the web page is pretty similar. So next, let's see how did I build this agent? So here I'm in data cloud and you can see I am in the setup and in the connectors. So here I'll find a new connector type called web content crawler and here in the connection name, I can provide a connection name. This could be anything. Uh, and more importantly, provide the connection details with the website URL. And then you test this connection. And once the test is successful, you can save. Now in the interest of the time, I've already saved and created a web content crawler for this website. Next, we need to create a data lake and a data model object. So click on that new data lake object and from external files, you can choose web content crawler. Now here we can provide the connection here in this case is the Pronto site. And optionally, I can also provide a included page element. With this, you can choose to bring only parts of your web page. So here we want that frequently asked questions only. So I can inspect element and then uh, quickly find the section uh, and copy the selector path and then use that as the included page element here. Next we move on with the next button and here I can provide the object name and also the name of the unstructured data model. Now remember to check that search index configuration. With this, the system automatically creates a search index uh, and also a retriever. This is needed so that the agent can perform RAG, retrieval augment generation. Now in the interest of the time I've already created, so I'll close it and you can see that data lake object, a Pronto FAQ uh, that's created. Now you can also see there's a search index here uh, and the search index is automatically created by the system. And then we can go to the Einstein studio and here you can see there is a retriever that the system has automatically built um, to make it useful for us to use within Prompt Builder. This is Prompt Builder and this is where you can ground your prompts in reality. Here we ground with the retriever information. So now here within the Prompt Builder, you can uh, insert that retriever that we just saw. So you can just click on that insert resource and select that Pronto FAQ retriever and create a prompt and add it. This is agent builder. This is where we can build and test agents and I can have the prompt template as an action for this agent. Now our next step is to create a topic. In this case, it's merchant support FAQ topic and we'll provide the descriptions and the scope and we can provide an instruction to invoke that Pronto FAQ action. Now that Pronto FAQ action is simply an action created from the prompt template that we just saw. Now that we have the agent built out and tested, our next step is to make this agent available to the website. And for this, you create embedded service. So here in the embedded service, you will find this JavaScript code snippet that you can then simply copy paste with the meta tag code snippet to your website. So this is how you can build an agent grounded in your website content. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to Salesforce Developers YouTube channel.